Uh, and now we'll turn it over to Michelle McSweeney. Hi there. So the title of this talk is, Can I Get a Comma? And by the end of this talk, I'll let you know if you can or not. But before that, let me tell you a little bit about my personal life. So I live in Brooklyn, New York. And every time I go over to my mother-in-law's house, I come away with this thick Brooklyn accent. You know, I go over for tea, we have coffee, I got to get the crema and the sugar. It's great. And what's going on there is a process called linguistic convergence. And linguistic convergence is when we adopt the speech patterns of the people around us. And for the most part, we do this when we want people to like us. And it has some really important social consequences. Convergers are considered warmer, friendlier, more trustworthy than non-convergers. But just like all things, convergence can go a little bit too far and cross into mimicry. And we don't like mimickers. We don't trust them. Um, and typically, when we've studied convergence, we've studied what people do to converge. And what's interesting is that we can't really study very well what people don't do. But in comes text messaging. So text messaging is unique because it's written down, right? So we can study both what people do and what they don't do. Makes it a whole lot easier. Couple that with computational tools and it becomes much easier. And as you may or may not have noticed, text messaging is taking over the planet. Young adults today send upwards of 100 messages every single day. And it's not uncommon to send 500, 600, more than that. And it has some really important features. First off, it's decontextualized. So you don't have any physical or any oral cues to help you understand the social context of the message. It's all there in the writing. And this is really cool because it means that we can study things like social context of text messaging. So I was really curious what my students were texting about, so I got a corpus. It's about 40, <laughs> you don't wanna know. It's about 44,000 text messages sent and received by bilingual young adults in New York City. And the way I got it was they plugged their phones into my computer, I made a copy of their entire messaging history and gave them back their phone. Now, this is important because we have conversations that are still intact. So rather than seeing only what they're sending, I can also see what they're responding to. And this is a perfect environment to study convergence. So I identified 50 features that I was really interested in, features that are endemic to text messaging. So things like abbreviations, like bro and grox for gracias, Acronyms like WYA for where are you at? Uh, emojis like see no evil monkey emoji and smiling face with hard eyes emoji. Laughter particles like LMAO and ha ha. And punctuation like exclamation points and our beloved comma. And I trace the use of these features through the entire social network. But it's really hard to look at 100 people all at once. So let's look at three. This is Jasmine her boyfriend, Michael, and her BFF, Erica. Jasmine is a lover of the emoji. She sends face-throwing kiss emoji all of the time. And Michael is more than willing to oblige her and converge on her emojis. So she sends three, face-throwing a kiss emoji. He sends three, she sends two, he sends two. They converge on emojis. <laughs> Kind of awesome. Um, Erica is also, so she also texts with Erica. And Jasmine is also a huge fan of the exclamation point. She is a woman after my own heart. Almost every message she sends has an exclamation point in it. And in her 600 messages with Erica, Erica never sends a single exclamation point back. And it's not the case that Erica's not a converger. That W-Y-A that you see, she got that from Jasmine. <laughs> so what's going on here? Well, we have two categories of features. We have features that are involved in convergence, emojis, acronyms, abbreviations, and features that are not, punctuation and laughter particles. This means that if you are an LMAOer and you start texting with a ha-ha, 
you're not going to become a ha ha -er just because of exposure. You are going to stay an LMAOer. Don't worry. So, <laughs> so the answer to the question is no. You can't have a comma. <laughs> Because a comma text says my identity, and if I gave you a, comic, a comma, I'd be mimicking you, not converging. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Um, well, I, w I would respond to that in almost the opposite way as I did the last one. The, the last one was a burning uh, political and social issue that I think quite a lot about. This is something I admit I'd never thought about, whether uh, laughter particles converge and whether commas don't. And so this is something I didn't know I didn't know, and I'm, I'm pleased now to know it. I am just going to be sitting there looking at my back through all of my own chat logs <laughs> because I can't obviously look at my future ones because now that I know this, who knows what I'm going to do. But I can fortunately go back and look at my old chat logs and say, have I been doing this? Uh, you know, did, is this something that I converged on? Uh, so I'll, I'll report back, you know, at the end of this. Uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, next up is Kelly E. Wright and Kevin B. McGee.